Before I was Muslim, I used to, I was a typical, what you could class as a, a British lad. Um, I used to go out drinking on a Saturday evenings, all that kind of thing. Um, so about five years ago, I, um, I was going on holiday uh, to Greece. And they have, uh, obviously, you know, when you go to an airport, you've got loads of books in your backpack, ready to go, sit by the side of the swimming pool, large beer, sit there reading, well, you don't know, but you, know, <laughs> you sit there reading your book with a large beer at the side of your sunbathing. And um, you've never got enough, you've never got too many books. So I thought, I'll go to WH Smith's and I'll pick up a nice book that I can read. And um, I couldn't find anything. I've got my rucksack on my back and as I turned around to leave I knocked a bookshelf and all the books fell off and not one to be a bit awkward so I picked everything up and the books were all one book and it was an, by a western author called Barnaby Rogerson and he wrote a book called um, An Autobiography of a Prophet Muhammad Islam. and uh, I read the first page and it looked interesting I read the second page took it to the counter I bought it and I took it on holiday with me so I uh, I read the book and I thought, yeah, I want to learn more. So I came back and I, uh, I started to go through, go to um, a local masjid and I spoke to them and I said, I want to learn more. And the elderly Imam who took my shahada, he said, well, to tell you the truth, the best way to understand Islam is to become. And I didn't think anything, think twice about it. I just took my shahada there and then um, as a revert Muslim you find that you sort of adhere yourself to somebody within the Sahaba, you know, you can relate to them because they were all revert Muslims too. And um, you can, I, my relation was Hamza because of the way that he lived his life before uh, he was a hard drinking, hard living, enjoyed life to the full, obviously still enjoyed his life to the full after he became a Muslim, but, and I related a lot to him. So when I went on Hajj, I wanted to go to the bath to see where Uhud where he died. So I went to um, I went to the cemetery. They got off the bus, and as I was walking across, it was like I was walking through treacle. It was kind of, it was so I felt so emotional, and I couldn't. Tears were just streaming down my face, and I couldn't stop them, and I didn't know why. So um, I kept going, and as I got off this like sandy patch onto the onto a little paved area, it all went. And I thought, oh, that was strange. And I went to to the cemetery. I made my du'as for the martyrs and. Hamza and um, made my way back to the bus when they said come on it's time to go made my way back to the bus and as I walked across that patch of ground it happened again just crying looking at me what's the matter so I told them and um, a Malana that was there next to me because he translating for me he said when our prophet found out that what had happened to his uncle he just cried he just wept and wept and I said well maybe he just left something there for somebody who wanted to find it and I felt in here for Hamza so it hit me both barrels so when I got home I said if uh, we have a son because my wife was pregnant at the time if we have a son I want to call him Hamza and we had a little girl so obviously before I went to see my mom I went on to the internet to see if I could find a female relation of Hamza to give her a second name and I couldn't find anything so she said ask your mom so I asked my mom and my mum went away and a couple of days later she'd gone trawling through the internet and she says I found three names for you and she said one of those she, I can't remember, can't remember the other two but the one that we liked was Sophia so okay then we'll give her Sophia and um, a few months after we'd done that I was feeling pretty depressed and quite down and I've got a book called the Fazal Alimal and I, was re I just open it up just to read and see what there is in there and the re I was reading about the aftermath of a hood it just opened up there and it was talking about them going, wrapping, the, wrapping them up and burying them. And um, then it starts talking about Hamza's sister coming with two pieces of cloth. And Hamza's sister was called Sophia.